Hi everyone! Hi! It's Miss Lori and Anna. Today I wanted to read a story with you. Well, we wanted to read a story with you for Mother's Day. We wanted to celebrate all the moms, grandmas, and how much they do for us. <laughs> so we wanted to share with you Mother Mother, I Want Another. It's by Maria Polushkin Robbins. It's a really good story. And my daughter and I will take turns. <laughs> She will be the baby and I will be the mama. It's really fun. But first, before we begin, we'd like to sing you our hello song. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you like to read a book, say shh. Sh okay. Mother, mother, I want another. Now, as the story goes along, we're going to find out what he means when he says, mother, mother, I want another. It was bedtime in the mouse house. Mrs. Mouse took baby mouse to his room. She helped him put on his pajamas and told him to brush his teeth. <laughs> she tucked him into his bed and read him a bedtime story. She gave him a bedtime kiss and then she said, good night. <laughs> Look how cute he is. You really think this is cute, don't you? <laughs> I've never seen this. But she, but as she was leaving, baby Mar mouse started to cry. Why are you crying? asked Mrs. Mouse. I want another mother. Another mother, cried Mrs. Mouse. Where will I find another mother for my baby? <laughs> How is she going to find another mother? <laughs> Mrs. Mouse ran to get Mrs. Duck. Please, Mrs. Duck, come to our house and help put Baby Mouse to bed. Tonight he wants another mother. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Duck came and sang a song. I'm gonna try to sing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Quack, Mousy, don't you fret. I'll bring you worms, both fat and wet. But Baby Mouse said, but Baby Mouse said, Mother, Mother, I want another. So that wasn't right either. <laughs> Mrs. Duck went to get Mrs. Frog. Mrs. Frog came and sang, Croak, croak, mousy, close your eyes. I will bring you big fat flies. But Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. That's still not good. Pull this for me. <laughs> Mrs. Frog went to go get Mrs. Pig. Oh, do you think that's going to make him happy? <laughs> Mrs. Pig came and sang a song. Oink, oink, mousy, go to sleep. I'll bring some carrots for you to keep. But Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. That's still not good enough. <laughs> Mrs. Pig went to go get Mrs. Donkey. Mrs. Donkey came and sang a song. Yee-haw, Mousy, hush a bye. I'll sing for you a long lullaby. Do you think that's gonna be good enough? <laughs> But Baby 
Mouse had had enough. No more mothers, he shouted. I want another kiss. A kiss? <laughs> he didn't want another mother. He wanted a kiss. He's muttering. Really? Well, now. Oh? I see. Indeed? I, I see. see. No one knew what he wanted. <laughs> Mrs. Duck kissed mm -hmm. Baby Mouse. Mrs. Frog kissed Baby Mouse. Mrs. Pig kissed Baby Mouse. And Mrs. Donkey kissed Baby Mouse. Oh, look how nice they are. <laughs> then Mrs. Mouse gave Baby Mouse a drink of water. She tucked in his blanket, and she gave him a kiss. Baby Mouse smiled. May I have another mother? <laughs> so he said, another, with a pause, mother. But he didn't want another mother. <laughs> of course, said Mrs. Mouse. And she leaned over and gave him another, another kiss. kiss. <laughs> The end. Yay. Yay. I hope you enjoyed our Mother's Day book. We wish everybody out there a happy Mother's Day. Celebrate and enjoy each other. Now we'd like to sing you our goodbye song. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye, everyone. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.